What's up you guys? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video all about my perfumes. I just want to declutter a couple of perfumes, clean them off, and reorganize them because right now they're all over the place and I really like to have my perfumes organized by season. I actually don't even know all the perfumes that I possess and this is the corner that my perfumes are in. That's why the sun is so crazy. It's right next to my window. So this is the shelf. This is where I was just filming. It is a tiered shelf. I'll show you guys how it looks naturally. I'm just gonna drag it out so I can properly clean and organize everything but this is what it normally looks like. I have a lot of my new perfumes here from my perfume haul a couple of weeks ago. Let's get into it. looking like this is my full tier I have five tiers total I'm really only going to use about four tiers I always like to leave room to grow because y'all know me I love collecting things and perfume has become one of those things recently so my plan is to wipe down everything wipe down each and every perfume all of my perfumes from this tier are over here I put them on my bed and then I am going to separate them with you guys with summer winter spring and fall and then I'm gonna make a declutter pile and then we're going to reorganize them on my shelves. Okay, I have all my perfumes here. Now I think what I'm going to do is separate all of these by season and figure out which ones I need to declutter. Now that I'm looking at all of them, I don't think I'm going to declutter really any besides the two that I know I want to declutter from my video. This one right here is Kyer Fusion. I just really did not agree with this in my body chemistry. Um, it smells like stale fruit snacks on me. This is now Women by the brand Rave. Really, really, really um, did not work on me. It gets sour very easily. Yeah, no. <laughs> I have to, I gotta toss this. The rest of these, honestly, as I was taking them off the shelf, I can't part with any of them. I know I'm a little bit of a hoarder, but it's just, it's just the truth. So I'm gonna go through these, wipe them off with the Clorox wipes, and then separate them as well. <laughs> I finally separated my perfumes and I thought I would give you guys a bit of a perfume collection before I sort them out on the shelves. So I have fall perfumes here, summer perfumes over here, vanilla scents, everyday scents, and this is the declutter pile. So starting with the declutter, I've actually had this perfume for a really long time. This is the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum and as you can see, I did make a huge dent in it. I bought this when I was like 16 and had my first job at Chick-fil-A and I was just bawling away with every single penny that I made. Um, but however, I don't know if it's because I wore this too much or maybe my scent profile just changed, the chemistry in my brain changed, but you guys, every single time I've tried to put this on since high school, I get a headache. It doesn't matter how little or how much I put on, I get an instant headache every single time I spray this. And I totally forgot that it was in my collection until I was cleaning this out, so I think this one's gonna have to go. As you can see, she was well loved. She definitely has a dent in there, so I don't feel too bad about it, but this needs to get rehomed or decluttered because I cannot wear this without having my head hurt, y'all. And then you guys know the Now Women and the Kyer Fusion are getting decluttered, but these are the three that I'm decluttering for today. Now on to the other collections. This is gonna be my everyday pile, not anything too crazy, but I'm gonna show you guys what I have. And also any of these perfumes that are available on Amazon to purchase, I will be linking them in my storefront if you guys wanna shop my perfume collection. But these are all the perfumes that I have. Let's get started. This one is the Clean Reserve Skin. Skin is by far one of my favorite scents in my collection. As you guys can see, this is the OG everyday scent. I don't care what anybody says, it is one of the best 
it smells good hot or cold it doesn't matter the temperature it is really 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 the best and i'm thinking about getting a backup but this one is expensive y'all i think i paid upwards of 60 or 70 maybe even 80 bucks for this that's why i haven't gotten the backup yet because it's not as simple as my more inexpensive perfumes but this one right here is a keeper if you have never tried this smell it in sephora smell it anywhere you can smell it it is one of the best and that's why it's always sold out in stores next i have this one this is ariana grande's perfume and this is sweet like candy i believe this is one of my favorites just for every day i used to wear it more when i was in high school not so much anymore and this is actually my second bottle i used to have a smaller version like the one that i have over here in the fall pile but i got a bigger version with the puff and i know these are og like older scents for her she's come out with so many other scents since then but this is still one of my favorites for every day i just like smelling sweet and this does it for me next ones these are ogs y'all i just don't have the heart to throw them away or declutter them i used to wear these in high school all of the time and i have not even picked it up since i might wear it now now that i'm talking about it this is pink sugar. I bought two little versions. I've gone through like three or four bottles of this, you guys, all throughout high school. I bought two little versions because I heard that they were discontinuing it. And I actually found it, I think, at TJ Maxx. And they used to be at Sephora, so that's why I picked them up. I just can't let them go. It's so nostalgic of a scent, and I love it. If you guys don't know what pink sugar smells like, it smells exactly like how it sounds. It smells like cotton candy dreams but it's definitely extremely juvenile and i saw a skylar perfume i think that's the name of the brand that's like cotton candy skies or something like that if you guys know what i'm talking about let me know how you like it if you do own it but i'm thinking about getting that one as like the more mature version of this but i love this next one this is just for my inner child i've always wanted the britney spears perfumes but never could so a couple of months ago i think i showed it in my perfume haul from a year ago. I picked this up off of Amazon. This is just her original fantasy bottle and I couldn't figure out what category to put it in. I mean, I guess it kind of could go into summer, but I would wear this even if it wasn't summer because it's super, super sweet and that, and I'm saying that, that's coming from me. But I'm sure everyone knows what fantasy smells like. It smells really, really good, has great notes and I love the bottle, it's so nostalgic. I've always wanted a Britney perfume since I was younger, so I bought myself one. These two right here are the Infinity Stones that I was showing you guys in my perfume haul a couple videos back. This is the forever mood nda and this is the forever mood i am her i just recently picked these up this nda one is definitely giving more nighttime while this one's just giving a powdery day but either way both of these i would include in my everyday pile now i'm gonna go into this one this one's also special to me you guys can see there is a bit of a dent in this one this is the chance chanel um this is the pink version oh tundra I think I'm saying that right. Um, this is a perfume that's so special. It's so fresh. It's almost teetering the line of summer perfumes, but I would consider this everyday perfume for me. It smells so good. It smells like you live in the shower. <laughs> it's just a really, really good, fresh and sweet scent. A lot of fresh scents lean more towards aquatic, but this one really does a good job of still giving that sweetness factor. And like I said, y'all know I love a sweet scent. So this one is really, really good. I picked this one up for my 22nd birthday, I believe, and I love it. This one, if y'all saw my perfume haul, I don't need no introduction for this, okay? This is a inexpensive perfume um, by the brand Armoff. It's called Club de Nuit. I think I'm saying that right for women. Y'all, I'm not Listen, okay, you can just watch the perfume haul, but just trust me, this is a inexpensive everyday perfume. The bottle feels a luxe as hell, y'all. This is such a great perfume for every day. It is on the stronger side. Like, I would definitely consider the Chance, the lighter version of this. Um, this one definitely has some deeper tones in there, but it is so good. And you only need, like, two or three sprays. And it does a good job without giving me a headache like that Miss Dior does. This one is everything. Next, we have this. Do y'all remember this? Throwback. This is the Courtney version of Kim Kardashian's fragrance line when she used to have a fragrance line. And this is, I think, the Diamond Collection. They had... Courtney, Kim, and Chloe, y'all, this one was definitely the best out of all three. I don't care what y'all have to say in the comments. I think it's probably because it's leaning more sweet for me, but I actually haven't smelled this in a minute. Yeah, it just gives. It gives. I don't know what to tell y'all. And unfortunately, it's not available for purchase anymore because she doesn't have this collection. But she did what she had to do with the diamond collection. I did not like the other two ones, but Courtney, she did her thing on this, and I love it. And I still have it, and I did have a little bit of a dent in it. This is another perfume I bought when I was in high school, and... She has not betrayed me. She stays. Next, we have the Juicy Couture. Y'all, look at that. I have used this quite a bit. What even is this, y'all? I don't even know which one this is. Viva La Juicy Eau de Parfum, and I got it in the one ounce. I really don't think I'm going to repurchase it to get it in the 3.4. I just use it occasionally now. 
Um, but I really love it. I've always wanted a Juicy Couture perfume since I was younger and I just never got one. As you can see, this is a lot of me fulfilling my childhood fantasies, but I picked this up. I've always just thought their bottles were so cute. This isn't so juvenile that it's giving like Bath and Body Works sweet pea vibes, <laughs> but it's definitely, I mean, the bottle's so cute. I don't know. I just, I, it's hard for me to let some of these things go that are more nostalgic, like the Pink Sugar, and this is definitely one of them. Um, but I still wear it to this day. Really, really nice perfume. Next, y'all. If y'all saw my first perfume haul, this is my secret weapon. This is the perfume that I wear on every single first date that I ever go on, <laughs> which is saying a lot, okay? This is a scent that never lets me down. She blends well with the chemistry. She understands the assignment, and it's crazy because... I saw that a couple people were saying that it smells like pickles. Y'all, where are you getting this scent profile from? This is the Ariana Grande Thank You Next perfume. This is one of my favorites in my entire collection, and she is definitely the most valuable player when it comes to reliable scents that I can wear and know that I'm going to smell good all day long. This lasts... This lasts so long, and I do spray it everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I'm spraying it under the clothes, I'm spraying it on top of the clothes, I'm spraying it on my neck, I'm spraying it on my back, I'm spraying it on my ankles, y'all. Like, this is that girl. And a lot of these perfumes, they don't have the best sillage, but this one, she goes off. I don't know if she got her flowers, but this is everything. And if you don't get the pickle scent, <laughs> which I definitely don't, I get like a sweet, I can't even, it's sweet like the candy one but it's in a different way i can't describe it it's one of my favorites in my entire collection speaking of miss grande i have this one i actually really do not like the cloud scent um i think it's a i think everyone was saying it was like a baccarat rouge fantasy kind of for less i don't really like the baccarat rouge scent either this is a light scent of those two perfumes in my opinion um this is mod vanilla and i really like this one i don't like it enough to wear it every day though it's just in the everyday pile because it didn't really fit anywhere else i mean maybe here but she's here she's thriving i don't wear it a ton i've worn it a couple of times since i picked it up it's not enough for me to want to declutter it because there are times where i want to wear this and smell like this so when those times come she is here for us but it did break when i got it in the mail so the top doesn't go all the way on but it's okay she just sits on the shelf and lives her life. Lastly, for everyday scents, I got this as a birthday present when I was 21, I think. I could not tell you which one it is to save my life, y'all. I don't know which good girl this is, but it's the one with the ombre heel. And um, I love it. I really want to try the original because I don't have it. But this is the one that I have. I got it as a birthday gift. And she's everything. She has jasmine as one of the notes. And this is one of my only jasmine scented um, perfumes that has like a prominent jasmine note. If any of these other ones have jasmine, it's very, very light in comparison. Um, and I love it. It's definitely giving every day. The heel is obviously giving date night. It's just, it's just a versatile fragrance. And I think that's why everybody loves them. And this is one of my faves. Now moving on to fall, we have my girl, Casa Blanca. Y'all know how I feel about Miss Casa and Miss Blanca, girl. Look, look at the dent. Is there even an explanation that you need? This smells like an apple pie on crack. Okay, if you do not own this, what are you doing? And I think Amazon actually has it on sale for 40 something right now, maybe even 30 something. I think I got this in the 40s. The price goes down and up all the time and I actually have two backups underneath there because I was not playing around last year. So if you do not have it already, definitely try it if you like apple scents. I don't even like apple like that, but this y'all, apple cinnamon fantasy next we have this one i had think i've only worn this like one time i need to try it out more this fall but this is definitely giving like i don't want to say smoky maybe like peppery i think that's how Haley gamba described this for fall i think she did a fall fragrance video last year and she mentioned this this is the moschino fresh couture the gold bottle and it looks like a little windex bottle and it's so cute i saw somebody on youtube say that and that's exactly what it smells like windex guys i don't get a windex vibe from this i get here let me smell it i get like a peppery flower and the reason why i picked this up actually is because one of my co-workers we were in the break room and she smelled so good and i made her tell me which one she was wearing and i got the link and everything and it was this so i think it just works well with a lot of people's body chemistry i have not worn it enough to figure out if that is me or not but best believe this fall i definitely will Next one I have, y'all see the dent, y'all. This one is like one of the cheapest perfumes that I have. Aside from all of my body sprays under there, this right here, this perfume is called Choco Musk. It's an Arabic perfume. This was like $15, y'all. And y'all see the dent. This is a Gourmand Lovers Fantasy. It smells like Swiss Miss and whipped cream. And that's all I have to say about that. This one right here is an Ariana Grande perfume, and I actually forgot which one this is. I think it's actually just Ari. I think it's the first one she ever dropped. This one 
This one gives me a deep caramel scent, so that's why I put it in the fall collection. I think this is the one fluid ounce, but I got a smaller version of this because I knew I wasn't gonna wear it every day, and I definitely don't. Last one, I put it in the fall collection because y'all, I've never worn this perfume, and I remember I wanted a Jo Malone perfume so bad when I was younger. I went to New York with my family, and I made them stop at a Sephora, and I paid so much money for this, and that's why it's not in the declutter pile because I just cannot rationalize throwing it away. But this is Mimosa and Cardamom. It actually smells really, really good, really classy it's giving job interview it's giving i have my stuff together it's giving i have a mortgage with three kids and five cars like it smells really really good she's not going anywhere because she was expensive as hell so she's going in the fall category now into the vanillas you guys already know the last video that i did about perfumes is the gucci flora gorgeous orchid this is a vanilla orchid smell it is so addicting it's so so good definitely try that out and that's on my amazon storefront already i will link it for this video as well as well as this one is also on the amazon storefront eclair this is said to be a dupe of bianca latte like i mentioned in the last video i've never had bianca latte i've never smelled bianca latte How However, this bottle alone, like girl, it's a good perfume on its own, extremely lactonic, extremely milky, and definitely a sweet gourmandy scent. Um, it's hitting the gourmand button a little bit too hard for my liking every single day and like for my vanilla perfumes at least. But if you love it, this will go great. I would, I'm just thinking about like bare vanilla from Victoria's Secret with this. Ooh, it would be a perfect mixture. I love it for me. Next one is the Billie Eilish, the original. Um, I don't I don't have the second one. I'm kind of curious to see what it smells like, but this one is like a musky vanilla scent, and the bottle is stunning. Um, I used to wear this a lot. You can't really tell because the bottle camouflages my dent, but I used to wear this a lot, um, and I stopped because I got scared that I was going <laughs> to run out of it. But I actually purchased a set, and I have, I think, two mini sizes so i'm gonna start busting this back out the vanillas definitely give me life especially during the winter months and then this one is more of a summer vanilla but i love it and i just got it this is the forever mood hard to get and she was she was hard girl she was hard to get but we love her this is like a more floral vanilla as well but not in the same way as gucci flora this one is more cozy and warm this one is more like citrusy so if you are looking for a citrus scent, definitely pick her up. And Forever Mood has been selling out, girl. So if you're thinking about it, go run. And lastly, we have the summer category. So I have this one that I just showed you guys. This is the Latafa Yara. This is the orange bottle. This is the two. And then this is the Yara that I originally got. I don't know what the name of this one is. This is the baby pink Yara because I know now they have like a hot pink Yara that I also haven't tried. Y'all, y'all know how I feel about Latafa in general. So this is definitely, and this, this one right here that I was just gassing up is also from Latafa. Latafa just, she gets it. She gets it. But these two perfumes are really, really good. This is more of like a coconutty dream vacation type of vibe. This one is more of like strawberries, cream, and coconut. So... Both really, really great for summer. I definitely wore this one more, but that's because I had this one first last year and I got this one this year at the end of the summer. So next summer, I'm busting her out. We have these two KKWs. This one just smells like the most expensive sunscreen you've ever had in your entire life in the best way possible. I love it. This is the KKW Body. And then I think this is the Body 2 or 3. I can't remember. Um, again, she doesn't sell these anymore. But this one has more of a going out smell. And they're both outlines of her body, which is a slay. This one was, I think, limited edition, which is why, as you can see, there's a huge dent. But I stopped using it because I got scared that I was going to run out. This is Dolce & Cabana Light Blue Sun. They have the light blue, just the regular bottle, I think, or the blue, if I'm mistaken. Um, but I've never tried it. But I've never owned it. I have smelled it in the store, and it smells really good. But this is the Sun version. Such a good golden, like, warm summer scent it smells so so good and i haven't worn it in years because i just want to savor it but maybe next summer i'll bust it back out again but it's a really really good scent y'all am i even gonna try to pronounce this i'm gonna embarrass myself this is a giorgio armani um perfume that i got for my birthday for myself last year when i turned 24. this is what i mean when i say that these fresh scents lean more aquatic this one down here the chanel chance is giving more sweet this one is extreme aquatic in the best way though. I love it, but it's definitely for summer. This smells really, really good. It actually has, it actually has kind of a dent up in there. Okay, girl. Um, I can't wait till next summer to bust this out. This is giving like beachfront date. This is giving night out. 
honestly you can wear it anywhere it's such a good fresh scent and it's definitely giving like i just came out of the ocean with all the mermaids and this is what it smells like last two perfumes you guys are from i think al harim sultan correct me if i'm wrong but these were the viral tiktok perfumes this one in specific um it smells really really good however these are not perfume spray bottles they're oils so these tops come off and they're oils this one is more of like a florally um very strong floral actually um too strong <laughs> for any of these other categories it's like strictly for summer for me personally and then this one just gives like juicy fruit on crack like it just smells like the entire gum carton girl um definitely seductive addicting this one is specific that's the one that i have the most experience with but both of them are good so now what i'm gonna do is put all of these back on my shelf one by one and now that the sun has finally set i can put it back in the corner where it belongs you guys all cleaned all reorganized and decluttered just a little bit i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye